this is now a three terabyte paperweight. As many of you know, I've been having boot issues with the PC I built last March for the last seven months. Done everything under the sun to try and resolve this issue with no viable solution or conclusion until now. I never considered the issue to be with a brand new internal hard drive that was initialized with the computer. I built the computer with M.2 for the operating system and a three terabyte hard drive, this bad boy, for everything else. And the two times I reset Windows, there was not an issue. I never had an access issue to the hard drive, but I discovered I was able to boot when I disconnected it from the motherboard. So eventually I just removed the drive completely and replaced it with a solid state drive that I had on hand. I was able to finally access this drive utilizing this SATA to USB docking station. Come to find out, the hard drive had what's called a GPT protective partition on it. And for some reason, my PC was not reading it. After doing some digging, I found that there are mainly two reasons behind the error. First happens when you connect a GPT hard drive to a computer that is running a Windows 32-bit operating system. This is a compatibility issue on the operating system, which is not able to properly recognize or manage the hard drive, and not the case in my situation because I'm running Windows 11 64-bit. The other reason is that the partition table on the hard drive is corrupted or damaged. Now, there are many causes to a corrupted partition table. I'm not discounting that the fact that it could have been an issue with the BIOS altogether, not reading this hard drive properly. But I do not understand why I was able to access it fine one day after I reset Windows and then having a boot issue the next day. I've not had this issue with the solid state drive that I replaced this with yet. I have already ordered a replacement and plan on registering it for a warranty as soon as it's delivered before I even install, initialize, and format the new hard drive. I'm putting that bad boy under warranty. I would highly recommend to any of you who build your own computers to do the same. All in all, the conclusion with the Asus motherboard booting issue that I've been having was a corrupted hard drive. A brand new hard drive that was corrupted. So we'll see. Hopefully, my new hard drive does not get corrupted in the same way this did. Uh, I've updated all the BIOS, I've done all the right things. So we'll see what happens. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions.